My hands are really sweaty, my armpits are really sweaty, and guess what? My feet are really sweaty. Alexis Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Boop. Hey Sunshiners, Alexa. Okay, actually this jacket's a lot like <laughs> squeakier than I thought. Let me just take it off real quick. Hello, Alexa Sunshine 83 right here. Today is gloomy, it's stormy, it's rainy. And so I felt like it was the perfect day to film today's video, which is me talking about winter fashion trends, some that I like, some that I don't like. I really just wanted a very chill video for today. I even am wearing my hair up, which I literally never do in videos, but I'm getting my hair like brutally bleached to death next week. And so I'm really trying not to put any heat on it. So just got a little cute hair clip and I'm just in a chatty mood, can't you tell? This isn't even a normal like proper intro. It's me just chatting about my hair. So grab a coffee, grab some snacks, grab a hot cocoa, I don't know, whatever you want just to hang out and talk about some fashion stuff with me. With it being rainy today, it means that cold weather is starting and I have learned I am not a cold weather per, like I am a fall weather person, I think, where it's like crisp and you need a jacket, but you aren't like in winter weather where it's super snowy. I just really like layering and I feel like my time is coming in that like with summer, I'm just like too hot to be bothered. And yesterday, I think it was like one of the first days it was cold and I was so excited to get ready, even though I just like stayed at home. So I'm really hoping to get back into honestly like fashion. I know that's so random, but I feel like with summer, I almost like lose touch with fashion and like putting on outfits that make me happy because nothing makes me feel comfortable and happy because I'm too hot, which I feel like is why I haven't done a lot of like outfit videos. So hopefully I can get back <laughs> into it. Um, okay, tangent over, let's just get into the list. My gosh, this is going to be a chatty video, I'm sorry. The first winter 2022 fashion trend is cowboy boots and I have, talked some cowboy boot slander in the past couple of years. I feel like they really became like trendy, I guess, in 2020, especially the like metallic, colorful, even just different pattern cowboy boots. I feel like for a lot of people, this has now become such a staple in their wardrobe. And like I said, I kind of hated on them, not because I like hated cowboy boots. I just thought a pointed toe wasn't very like laddering on my feet. I have a like feet dilemma of just like being made fun of as a kid. I used to only want to buy shoes that made my feet look small and I've definitely gotten over that where now I love like a good chunky big boot but the pointed toe I've always been I think a little scared of because it makes your foot look a little bit longer which again like child insecurity of mine and I am just at a point where like I don't care I who freaking cares about what's flattering or like why are we trying to put clothing on that's gonna make us look like smaller like no if you like the shoe you like the shoe or if you like that specific dress that maybe doesn't have shape like wear the dress you look amazing in it so I feel like this one is something that I'm like overcoming this insecurity of mine and I have fallen in love with cowboy boots I don't know what happened it's like something clicked and all of a sudden I just really wanted cowboy boots if you follow my Pinterest you've probably been like why is Alexa pinning so many cowboy boots? And I just feel like going into the next like two months and then into 2023, cowboy boots may become a staple in my wardrobe. It's mainly because I feel like with cowboy boots, there are so many different colors and patterns that for me, I'm such a like black boot <laughs> type of person and also like black shoe type of person. And I kind of want to like get outside of my box and really try getting into more colorful shoes, but I find it actually quite difficult in finding shoes that I actually like that are different colors. But I found with cowboy boots, I actually think they're really fun in different colors and it could be a great way to add different colors into my outfit with cowboy boots and also cowboy boots are really cute. I think they do make a difference in an outfit. So this is something I am going to be having like number one on my list for going into winter. Again, it doesn't snow here, so I don't have to worry about like 
having cowboy boots that are okay in the snow. I don't even know if they're okay in the snow. Who knows? The second winter fashion trend has been on a bunch of different fashion magazines and I've seen it back from fall 2022 fashion trends and all that. And at first I really was not into this trend because I had in my mind like these kind of bomber jackets. And I think those are technically like trendy for winter or something and I just really don't like them on me obviously everything I say I'm saying it based on how I like it on me but I then saw leather bomber jackets and that like loose fitting like cozy leather bomber and I just fell in love and so that's definitely been also another one on the top of my list as you saw in the beginning of this video I was wearing a leather bomber it's definitely warm I feel like it's a lot warmer than my leather blazer my leather blazer is it's not even thin but I feel like the bomber it just feels like I am going to be good so if there is a very chilly day I will be good to go and I think it also it just adds a different element in the silhouette of an outfit. Talking about jackets, I probably should have like maybe put all of these like in a better order, but I just like jotted down what was on my mind. It is the fuzzy trim lawn jackets. I am obsessed with these. I personally don't think I will own one, but I love it. And I recently saw a best dress post a photo in one and it's just, it's gorgeous. Just feel like they are a very interesting jacket and in that they are gonna add so much like spunk and like fun to your outfit. You can get them long, you can get them short. It very much reminds me of when the pastel jackets with the like faux fur trim were really big, but with these I'm definitely seeing them more in like tans or black or red. I know that there's a very difficult balance in like being warm and also like wearing maybe a cute outfit to you. And so having a jacket that maybe just has like some pizzazz, you can go a little bit more like basic with the clothing under it. And then if you put like a black long boot, like beautiful. I, I'm like contemplating like trying to find one, but I just really don't think I would wear it. I'm not really like a faux, for trim type of person. I just get like kind of annoyed with the feeling, but I love them. This trend, I didn't realize like how much it was going to not even get big, but I just feel like I've been seeing so many heart accessories. I believe I talked about this maybe in a summer trends video, but these types of necklaces started to become really big, or maybe it was my like fall Pinterest video that I was talking about. I don't remember. Anyway, I am obsessed. I literally have a heart tattoo. So obviously I love hearts and I recently got like another heart choker and I just want to own so many accessories with hearts. And the great thing with something like this is it doesn't go out of fashion. I mean, who's gonna say? hearts are out of style. Like, no, nobody is, which it doesn't matter if something's out of style, obviously still wear it. Maybe this one a little bit more so that people may stop wearing, but it's a heart. It's still gonna go with everything. So I will continue to wear it. I do have a couple of trends, honestly, really not that many, just because I don't really like to talk too much about trends that I don't like because I know everyone's super different. And also people get like really angry and like as if I'm attacking them. But I did want to talk about the platform of that I have been seeing everywhere. The thing is, is I have a complicated relationship because I love platforms and I also get that they are super cozy and probably the comfiest things ever. But I think because of honestly where I live, putting on a fuzzy boot sounds like the worst thing ever. My hands are really sweaty, my armpits are really sweaty, and guess what? My feet are really sweaty. I don't really love the texture of Uggs as well, so that kind of like turns me off. Uggs like are one of those things that I feel like can never die. They were so big, I feel like for a lot of people during high school, I personally, I don't think I've ever owned Uggs before. I'm just a hater because I've never even tried them before. I had like the fake Uggs from Walmart and they were great. They were cool, they did what they needed to do, but I wouldn't say they were my favorite shoe ever. So this one, I personally won't be buying. This one, I don't know is a trend or not because on some trends list, it was like, super like micro mini skirts are really in and then other ones were like maxi skirts are really in and like plaid is in. So I really don't know. I didn't specifically see any trends like websites say that specifically plaid long skirts 
are a trend but for me they are i feel like the mall goth mystery box that i recently did like opened up this love for a long maxi skirt or it's it's like a maxi midi not super midi but not super maxi like midi maxi i had gotten a red one and i'm obsessed with it i feel like plaid long skirts a lot of times can go to like school uniformy so i feel like you have to get sometimes a very specific type and they just go with everything i really really want to wear skirts this winter again where i live like i can do that which i also wanted to mention a couple of like tiktok accounts these aren't all of them a lot of times because i don't really follow that many people i like forget to these are some like tiktok accounts of people's like fashion that i am absolutely in love with for like different reasons so i highly recommend checking out any of them i will leave their tiktok accounts down below because i have been getting a lot of inspiration from tiktok so i just wanted to mention that this is definitely a trend that i've talked about before and my love has continued to grow for it which is baby tees specifically like these little crop tight tops i just love them so much you can pair it with jeans you can pair it with different types of trousers you can pair them with a skirt and it just makes it nice in that a lot of times the graphic that then is on it is in the right placement and that you aren't gonna lose it if it is a little bit tucked in you know this trend is no surprise to anyone but that is bows i think they are still going into winter 2022 i've specifically seen tights that have bows on them and like it first kind of started with bows just like in your hair but i've been seeing it in different clothing items and like adding bows for just like little like cute accents and i'm totally down with it i know it sounds so silly but there's something about wearing braids and bows that just makes me feel really happy and let me tell you that was a lifesaver for this summertime my hair was always so sweaty and gross especially when i was filming like probably within five minutes of filming a video my hair was like drenched and so being able to put it in braids and like add cute bows like make it into an actually cute hairstyle versus me just having like sweaty wet like hair out was just amazing you just get some strain either from something that you already have at home or you can get it from like the fabric store there's so many different colors that is like my favorite accessory and thing that i did this year that i will continue to do and again like i said i think it's now bleeding into different areas of fashion so i did already talk about the like midi maxi plaid skirt but i also want to talk about specifically like these maxi links or like lawn links dresses specifically within the whimsy goth aesthetic oh my gosh i love them so much and i haven't really i mean i have some maxi length dresses and again the one that i got from the mall goth mystery box that one was just that was just like honestly my favorite mystery box i've ever done um that one had kind of like a longer dress that i'm kind of talking about but specifically the whimsy goth aesthetic i think is my favorite aesthetic it's very much rooted in like 90s fashion and that's like my favorite i think time of fashion and so it just makes sense and again a lot of times it's quite easy to find second hand i already talked about like the fuzzy trim jackets but fuzzy accessories this is another one that i feel like in 2020 was quite big i think it's kind of coming back or i i don't know i've just like seen it a bunch i have also a like love hate relationship with like fuzzy accessories and that like a fuzzy hat or like a fuzzy purse because i love it but i'm also like what if i don't know it gets into something or like something gets on it that's like wet that just sounds like such a mess to me maybe a fuzzy hat wouldn't be that difficult but it's more the fuzzy purse i love the idea of it but i can't get past the practicality of it i one time said that sneakers are boring in i think a shoe collection video and i got somebody very angry in my comments but i kind of like it's not that i don't like sneakers or i do think they're boring i think the kind of sneakers that i like are boring for other people there's so many different colors and different styles and i mean being into sneakers is like its own thing and i'm not talking about that i'm talking about like 
for me, I just don't really love sneakers. I would way rather just wear a like black boot. So keep that in mind because I want to talk about this, which is specifically the Adidas Sambas. I don't know if it's because I definitely prefer a little bit of a platform to even my sneakers. That's why I like a chunky white sneaker, which I know a lot of people like don't like it because it was really big in 2018. Even the like styles and colors I just know don't go with my closet and that's totally okay. Obviously if you have more of that style it's going to be like your holy grail item but for me it just doesn't make any sense. I feel like this is an example of like something I've seen so many people talk about that if I was like oh I just want to like wear this because influencers are influencing me and just like got them i then would like never wear them so it's good to be critical of trends for you specifically so you don't end up buying something that you're never gonna wear and the last winter 2022 trend i want to talk about are fuzzy sweaters and when i say fuzzy i mean fuzzy wow i've talked a lot about fuzzy Beans in this video. I didn't mean to. This one I did see on different fashion websites and I feel like I have to say no to this on me personally because I just think of the static shock that you will get or it sheds. I just think again of all the like reasons that I would not wear it or it would end up being such a hassle to where I would never end up wearing it. I had thrifted a very fuzzy sweater actually a couple of times and I love them and they are really soft, but they shed or like if it's even slightly warm and you start sweating in them, it's just like such a pain. So for me, I am very particular with my sweaters because I just know what I will and will not wear. It's good to be picky. That's not a bad thing. Um, but yeah, for this particular trend, like it's just, I, I would never wear it. Alrighty, thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments right down below any winter 2022 fashion trends that you specifically are into. Not even that they are even trends, just like what are you excited to wear this year? And yeah, if you do like thrifting and secondhand fashion, then make sure to subscribe right down below and hit that little bell to be notified every time I make a new video. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram, which is alexsunshine83. I will see you in my next video and I hope you have a super sunny day. Bye!